How's it going everybody? Tim's Tech Blog here. Right now we're going to take a look at a skin offered by the people over at Salutu. It's a uh, skin that goes on the back of your iPhone, iPad, or your Galaxy phone, whatever you have, um, that actually serves as a multiple purpose type of skin. You know, on any flat surface you can stick this thing onto it, you know, on your dash or like your mirror in the bathroom for example. Or if you have, you know, something baking in the oven, you can just stick it up on the top of your little oven overhang thing. Anyway, sometimes I ramble, but these skins go anywhere from 15 to 35 euro. Just hit them up over at salute2.com. And right now I'm gonna point out the pros and the cons to this skin and let you guys know whether or not it's worth it. So, let's go. Here we have the Salute 2 skins. They come in a bunch of different options here. This one is the polka dot one for the iPad mini, created by this fellow right here. Pretty sweet. We got the, of course, the Bob Marley here. Again, they come in a bunch of different prints and a, different, and a few different types of packaging. And then we got the one here for the iPad 3 and the iPad 4. What's really cool about these is that each artist, you know, gets featured, you know, like a new artist gets featured with their prints on it. So much respect for the people over in the UK giving a shout out to the local artists. Here we got the Bob Marley skin. You get a front front skin there, as well as the back skin, of course. We've got my beautiful iPhone 5S here that I'm gonna go ahead and put this little back decal on right now. The uh, print goes right up to the edge of the iPhone, so it allows for a nice, perfect cutout there. You got no flashback interference, although there might be a little kickback in there because of how close this is. Again, this is designed for the iPhone 5, so I'm not sure if their design had changed for the 5S. Camera cutout right there, perfect, right up against the edge of the lens there. Again, everything just fits to the back of the phone perfectly, and this thing feels really good. I like that contoured edge, I'm not going to lie, you know. Um, it's very reminiscent of the 3GS, and it just feels nice in the hand, you know. It's got a nice curved feel to it and I like that. Anyway we line it up to the best of our ability. And if you have the 5S and this kind of... Uh, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like um, fruit by the foot for some reason. I just want to bite this thing. Probably tastes nasty. Anyway that goes on the front just like so. The 5S allows for you to still use the the button on there you can see my little recording app but nice and vibrant colors the prints look fantastic out of this world actually for this one you get the little home button cover but again i got the 5s so that would defeat the purpose of the touch id there the prints look very very vibrant the colors are very um very well saturated everything just has a nice reproduction on it, it looks really really good gives it a nice contoured edge a little bit of a shiny back you guys can see it in the sun there and um, everything fits really, really well on this phone. Now where this case excels here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this without dropping it off here, is that uh, you can actually take your phone here, and in some cases just, here's my sliding glass door, but just stick it on there like that, and then it just sits up there without, um, without even falling off. So that's pretty sweet. Where that comes in handy is when you have you know, like a dash on your car. And look at that thing's on there. Oh, okay. If you have it, you know, like the dash on your car, you can just set it on the top of your dash so that way your phone's not sliding around. It's pretty neat. We'll come over here to my kitchen and uh, kind of show you guys another purpose for it. I was seeing on the little product videos, you can put it on the side of your, your, your uh, refrigerator just like that. I don't know how that sticks on there, but it's just kind of sticky, I guess. Um, the back, it does feel sticky, but it's not like tacky, you know what I mean? It doesn't really snag on your fingers. You can put it in and out of your pocket very, very, very easily. There's no, it doesn't get snagged up on your clothing at all, so that's a plus. Um, this material is weird. I don't know, I've seen cases like this in the past, or not cases, but I've seen other skins in the past like this, and they just kind of blow my mind, you know? Over time, the, um, the more dust and grime that gets on it, I guess it might fall off a little bit, but in... But for right now, man, this thing is awesome. Another use that I saw for it on their video is they, someone put it up on their, um, whatever this thing is called. I don't know. It's just that, ooh, that's so nerve wracking. If my phone falls, I'm gonna get it live on tape. But anyway, you can put it up there, set a timer, and then that way you don't have to use your oven timer. Um, you can just use your phone timer. So that's a practical use for it. Let's go ahead, find another flat surface that it would be cool on. It's kind of a neat perspective, isn't it? Go ahead and come in here to the bathroom. What up, though? And then you can stick it right on your mirror, just like that. And then as you're sitting here brushing your teeth, getting ready, you can read all your live feeds right here. You can even put it into 
the um, landscape orientation if you're watching something on there and never really have to, and you can just do all this stuff hands free. It's pretty sweet. In your car, it would look kind of funny, I guess, but I guess you can put it up on your driver's side window. If you're a vlogging type, you can get that type of angle. You can stick it on your windshield if it, you know, allow, I don't think you can do it on your windshield because it's kind of at an angle, it might fall down. But anyway, so many practical uses for this. I'd like to see what you guys come up with in terms of where you can stick this thing at. But why don't you go ahead and just drop a comment down below and tell me the practical uses that you would have for such a skin. And since I have two extra ones here, I'll go ahead and give them away. So I've got the iPad mini here and then the iPad 3 and the 4. I don't know how applicable this is because the iPad Air came out, but I think the iPad mini one still might be relevant. I also have one for the Galaxy S4. So I'll go ahead and stick that in the, in the uh, giveaway as well. But just go ahead and drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys would use these type of skins for. I'll even put this one in the raffle. I'll just package it back up. It's the iPhone 5 one. And um, drop a comment down below and let me know which device you have out of these three, whether it be the iPad 3, the iPad 4, iPad mini, Galaxy S4, or the iPhone 5 slash 5s. I will pick the winner at random in a few weeks, but again, all I gotta do is just drop a comment below telling me the practical use you would have for this skin, and um, I'll go ahead and give it away. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, you guys. I love each and every single one of you, and I will catch you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.